Tonight we're fixing up a one pan dinner and you're just gonna love this recipe. Hi, I'm Melissa Diane and on this channel we have so much fun in the kitchen and in the garden and just all around our home. And this dish tonight is easy, has fun ingredients and the best part is you just use one skillet so the cleanup is really pretty minimal. To get started, you're gonna want to go ahead and melt some butter. And I'm gonna put all of the ingredients and all of the different measurements in the description below the video for you. But you wanna go ahead and get you some butter in here and get it melted. Have a little extra butter over here set aside in case you do need some more. So I'm just gonna put that on low because you don't wanna actually brown it, you just wanna get it melted. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in some onions. So we're gonna be using some chopped onions tonight. We're also gonna be using some chopped celery. And go ahead and let's get those in there so they can be getting soft. Now if you'll notice, my onions do look pretty soft already and that is because a lot of times if I have extra onions in the kitchen, and I'm afraid I might not you know, get them used before they go bad, I will vacuum seal them. I'll chop them up and I just love the vacuum seal. I have to show that to you sometime. I have a wonderful special one and it's so good. And I'll vacuum seal them and freeze them and it, they will lose the crunchy texture. But if what you're going for is just the flavor, then it's perfect. And you can just pull them out of the freezer anytime you want them in all different little sizes. And I did the same thing with the celery. I had chopped these up, I had extra in the fridge, and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna use these. And so I chopped those up and vacuum sealed and froze them. And then when I wanna do a recipe like this, I can just pull them out. So let me go ahead and turn that up. And as I'm doing this, I just have to tell you, I love this skillet. It's from a um, company called, I think it's called Our Place and I'll put the link for it. I don't have any association with that company. And we're gonna do this for about probably three minutes um, just to get them even a little softer. If you're doing yours and they haven't been frozen like mine, then you'll probably need to do it for about five just to really soften up and get a little translucent. Now, while this is all softening up, let me show you the other ingredients we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using a little bit of shrimp. And so I bought these at HEB, our little local grocery store. And these are medium sized shrimp, about two cups of those. You're also going to be using some cauliflower rice. And let me tell you, if you've never used this, you can make cauliflower rice taste really, really good. Plus, it's really healthy for you. Let me turn that down a little. We're going to be using a little bit of sausage. Now, we're using sausage because I had some left in the refrigerator and we had ate this the other night and it's fantastic. So I thought, I'll pop this in there. Now for your seasonings, you're gonna be using just a little bit of some lime juice. I like to use Nellie and Joe's. I think they're just the best. And then here's some other seasonings. We're gonna be using some Old Bay seasoning. We're gonna use some Cajun seasoning. And then I've got some pepper here. We're gonna be using some coarse ground black pepper and a little bit of garlic roasted pepper. And then I have got some herbs here that I'll show you in just a minute where I got them. So for some of our herbs, we're gonna get these out of our herb garden. And this is my basil right here. And well, Ace, scoot over baby. And um, those are my kids here, Ace and Heidi. Say Heidi and Ace. And I've got right here some basil that I have cut. And then over here, I have got some oregano. There's Heidi, she's trying to help me. Hey Heidi, hey girl. So here's a little bit of oregano. We're gonna cut a few sprigs of this. So here we go, we've got a bunch of little pieces here of the oregano. We'll put that with our basil. And now we're gonna go ahead over by the pool and we're gonna get some rosemary. And here we have got some fantastic rosemary. And so I have just cut right here, this big long piece of rosemary that we're gonna use. Looks like our onions and our celery are sauteed really, really well now and very soft. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this cauliflower rice in this little bag that I showed you. These are so wonderful. You can actually put these in the microwave if you want to and eat them. But what I like to do is I like to take this and just put this directly into my skillet. So I just cut off the top. I did my, it sits on here, you can microwave this for five minutes and it's ready to eat. But what I did was I microwaved it for about two and a half minutes. So that way 
It's not completely frozen anymore. And then I just put it in my skillet. And I'm gonna mix this together. Mix this all together. And we're gonna leave this on low and let this all meld together. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And if you have never used cauliflower rice, just trust me, go get you a bag at your grocery store and just try it. Now I'm gonna just turn it up just a little because I have it on just a little bit too low. So it's kind of like between low and medium. There we go. And it's gonna soak up some of that butter that's in there. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now I will tell you that cauliflower rice, if you do not season it with anything, it is kind of bland. So it is important that you season it up. And that's what we're gonna be doing a lot with this little recipe. I think I'm gonna let it sizzle for about Two, it's about two minutes and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it finish. I'm gonna turn this back up now. And this is looking great. It's exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the sausage. As that heat's coming back up, we're gonna go ahead and put in just a little bit of lime juice. This is really, really good. And like I said a while ago, if you've never tried this, Nellie and Joe's, this stuff is awesome. I'm not associated with them. I wish I was. Um, but this Nellie and Joe's Key Lime Juice, and it comes right from Key West, it is fantastic. That sounds good, doesn't it? It smells good, I can tell you that. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in our shrimp. Lay those all across the top for just a minute while I put in our Old Bay seasoning because I really want to coat those. You could do all this in a separate skillet and then combine it, but we're trying to do a one pan dish tonight. And now we're going in with some more seasonings. I want to take some Cajun seasoning that I have. There's all different time, types you can get. And I'll put the link below for, for this one. You could also put some Tony's. If you ever use Tony's, you could put Tony's in here. And now for a couple of others, I'm just gonna put some coarse ground black pepper. Put that all over. And then some garlic roasted pepper. Some, this is good. Put that all over there. Woohoo! It's going to taste fantastic. And now I'm going to put in some really pretty green herbs that are going to, it's going to make this look so pretty. Okay, so now while over here we have this simmering, we're going to go ahead and put in, we're actually going to fix the rest of our seasoning. So these were the herbs that we picked outside and they've all been washed. So now I'm going to chop all of these up and then once we get those done we're going to put them in. Now I'm almost done chopping up our herbs and if you do not have fresh herbs no worries at all. You can just use your um, your oregano and your basil and rosemary that you have. Any herbs at all will be great in here but if you have not ever tried to grow herbs i never had until just about probably three years ago and it's really easy you can put them in pots or stick them in the ground and um, if you grow rosemary like this outside it'll last we're in texas and it still will last throughout the winter when it comes to the rosemary before i chop it i like to just do it like this little pieces and then we're going to stick all this in there oh this smells fantastic in this dish we've taken a little while tonight because we've been talking and having a good time but you can actually make this really really quickly okay i'm going to pull this over here and i'm just going to chop this up a little more so it's real fine there we go I 
All right, so let's go ahead now and we're gonna sprinkle. Let me kind of push this over here so you can see. We're gonna sprinkle a little of this basil all over the top and a little bit of the oregano all over the top and a little bit of that rosemary. And we're gonna stir it all together. And we're gonna put this on low and let it simmer so that all of those herbs and all of that fragrance and that wonderful taste, it can all soak together. So we'll do that and we'll be back in just a few minutes. It's looking good. And if you've enjoyed this, please pop that like button. That way I know what kind of recipes you like. And if you punch subscribe, you can join our YouTube family and would love to have you. So this is doing really well, and I think we are just about done. So we're gonna have to give this a quick taste. Well, I've plated this all up, and so we're gonna taste this really quick. Here we go. I think I'm gonna get a piece with a, um, a little piece of sausage on it. Let's see. Oh my. Okay. This turned out better this time than it ever has. It's wonderful, it tastes good. Run to the store, get your goodies, and you make this, you're gonna love it. Be sure and check out that next video that's popping up, and I'll see you over there in a few minutes. Bye-bye.